All right, uh, let's not waste any time. Lots of stuff to get to, Adam. Mm, starting things off with the Victoria Symphony, set to stage a world premiere of work inspired by the capital's Chinatown. Its Toronto composer says the music explores the immigrant experience in a way that books and movies can't. I put uh, Western music and Eastern music together, and just musically speaking, you would you find it jarring when the two cultures are mixed together. And I think the history book might, might not be reviewed uh, what, what that might be like uh, and when someone is in a new environment and two things that doesn't seem to um, jive together. Harmonious Interest is being billed as symphonic theatre. There will be actors and dancers performing between the music movements. The element of theatre would add uh, entertainment value to the piece. Uh, the dancer uh, evoked the mysterious images from the Fantan Alley, which is a secret place where they are um, um, shopping and, and also some illegal activities such as gambling and opium going on. And Harmonious Interest is conducted by Maestra Tanya Miller, who also commissioned the project. It debuts on Friday at Victoria's McPherson Playhouse. The evening will also include Terence Tam performing Butterfly Lover's Concerto, which we showed you last night. And a rare collection of Johnny Cash memorabilia is on display at the Nanaimo Museum. The exhibit includes gold records for songs such as Ring of Fire and A Boy Named Sue. They were collected by Johnny Cash's manager, Saul Holoff, who lived on Vancouver Island after working with the star. The material was discovered in a storage locker by Holoff's son, Jonathan, after his dad died in 2005. There's uh, 600 letters, many handwritten between Johnny, Saul, and June, but there's also lawsuits and arrest uh, records and mugshots and uh, Johnny's divorce and his last will and testament from 1967 when my father handled his uh, first divorce. Jonathan Holoff also found hours of recorded phone conversations between his dad and Cash. They inspired Holoff's documentary, My Father and the Man in Black, which will be screened at the Port Theatre on March 20th. Well, famous people news now and uh, Justin Bieber lashing out at the media today after his self-described rough week in London. The pop star wrote on his Instagram account that he's quote tired of the countless lies in the press. The 19 year old added that people are stupid if they believe he's in rehab or his family's disappointed in him. Bieber also suggested his detractors are just jealous of his age and success. And finally this hour a viral video featuring NASCAR driver Jeff Gordon is being called a fake. It shows the professional race car uh, driver undercover during an unconventional test drive from a car dealership and the reaction of the salesman who joined him. You are liable for any damages to the vehicle, so please stop the car, slow, or at least slow down. Slow down, slow down. You can't go through that gate, Mike. Stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Now Pepsi says that a stuntman did some of the more difficult driving in the video. Uh, the company refusing, though, to comment on uh, whether the salesman is an actor or not. If he is an actor, <laughs> that looked like genuine fear in his eyes. Uh, viewers started questioning the validity of the video after multiple tire marks were spotted on the street. Uh, so that kind of means perhaps multiple yeah. takes as well. Not real. You, that seems like something that you would do to motivate us. <laughs> take us on a drive it's like kind that. Of fun. <laughs> but don't do that at home. Don't, no, don't certainly not. Yourself. No. Yeah. Working for you is certainly a roller coaster ride. You though. look like that salesman most days. <laughs> well, I, you know, when the TV blows up and stuff, that's all. All right, Sparky, thank okay. you. Uh,